How's it going everyone? It is Wednesday, March 6th, and I am in a hostel in Bangkok, Thailand. Um, not even supposed to be here in Bangkok, but uh, basically my connecting flight was delayed. Um, I was supposed to be in Vietnam. I was planning to fly to Hanoi today, but my connecting flight was delayed, which caused me to miss my flight to Hanoi. So I have a flight to Hanoi tomorrow, uh, early in the morning, so I'm just staying at like a, an airport hostel. Uh, really close to the airport, but yeah, it's a pretty cool little hostel. It's, uh, this is my bunk. It's got a nice, nice little reading light, and there's curtains with, with cool elephants on them. It's very Thai. Yeah, and I'm the, I'm the only one in the room. It's got air conditioning, which is great. Several, uh, several bunks, and also I always check to make sure there's a window in case there's a fire or something. It's on the fourth floor. I know you guys probably can't see it's nighttime, but. Yeah, there's a nice, there's a ladder. Good thing to know there's a ladder. So, uh, yeah, what have I been up to? So basically, my last vlog was from, uh, was from Koh Lanta, Koh Lanta, Thailand. Um, I really just kind of relaxed there. I uh, rented a motorbike for the whole time I was there, drove around, really just took it easy on the beach, met a lot of really cool people. And uh, I will admit, I did end up at a full moon party there. Wasn't planning to go there, but it was my birthday. I met some really cool people at a hostel. Um, there was another American couple that I was hanging out with, and they're like, look, we're just gonna go check it out. And if you wanna split a tuk-tuk on the way back with us, we'll be glad to go back with you when it starts getting crazy. Which is what we did, you know, we called it uh, an early night, so we weren't there too long before people were getting all zombified and passing out everywhere. I mean, it was definitely, by the time we left, there was some people already passed out on the beach, but yeah, it was a good time, it was a good experience, and <clears throat> and to be clear, Kalanta is not really the place for big full moon parties, that would be more like Koh Phen Yang on the Gulf of Thailand side, or maybe Koh Phi Phi on the Andaman side of Thailand, I mean, I'm not an expert either too, so if you're watching this video, at, you know, years in the future, these might be different places to where they do these things but again that's not really my thing but glad that I went to one I can say that I've been to one now and whatever it's not really my thing now I'm sure maybe five or ten years ago I would have loved really would have loved going to a full moon party but yeah anyways I highly recommend Koh Lanta definitely check it out it's a really cool island really laid-back place would definitely go back and uh, I also hear there's some really nice islands that are close to get to from Koh Lanta. So wish I would have spent some money to go to like Koh Li Bay or another island close by and uh, that's known for having some better snorkeling. That's the only thing about Koh Lanta that there's not uh, very good snorkeling there. But still a good place to hang out, check out on the beach and a good place to learn how to ride a motorbike. Um, if you're not afraid of that, it's kind of hilly in some spots but for me, being a beginner, it was I was pretty comfortable on one. So, after Koh Lanta, I spent the whole day traveling to Koh Tao, the island of Koh Tao. It's on the other side of Thailand. It's on the so Koh Lanta is on the Andaman side, the Andaman Sea side, and Koh Tao is on the Gulf of Thailand side. So it took me like a whole day of traveling to get there through uh, a bus and then shuttles and then a ferry. But um, that's where I spent like I think eight or nine days, eight or nine days there, and just beautiful snorkeling, uh, beautiful beaches. Rented a motorbike the whole time there. It's a really big island as well. Um, I mean, it's like, I think it's actually the smallest of those three: Koh Samui, Koh Phen Yang, and then Koh Tao. But um, <clears throat> still really big. Definitely need a motorbike to get around to all the beaches and those roads were really scary to me. There's a couple of parts where I was like, this this road's too steep, I'm not driving this thing down or up this steep mountain. But uh, yeah, made it to a lot of really, really cool beaches. Really uh, didn't feel like the beaches were too crowded either, you know, compared to like Phuket or even Koh Lanta. One of the beaches in Koh Lanta was kind of crowded, but uh, yeah, also did four scuba dives while I was on Koh Tao, which is kind of what I went there for. I kind of decided earlier, I knew that I was going to do some diving and I was kind of trying to choose between the Samilan Islands and the Andaman Sea or Koh Tao. And I feel like Koh Tao was more of a budget option 
and I felt like the Similan Islands were going to be more expensive just getting there and um, I don't know maybe I kind of regret that maybe Similan Islands would have been a better choice for my experience I feel like Koh Tao is it's one of the cheapest places to get certified to go diving so there's a lot of beginners diving there but it was uh, still some beautiful dive sites that I went on I did four total dives um, which cost me like 3600 baht which is super cheap so like in US dollars I think let me see off the top of my head I think it's like a hundred and sixty dollars or something Am I doing that right let me see yeah I don't know I have to look it up maybe I'll, I'll put it in text format two of the dives were shallow dives and I did those on one day just to kind of get used to diving again and then I did two deep dives the next day and uh, those were definitely my favorite one of the dives one of the deep dives was well, I'll just tell you all the sites. So the first one was Japanese Gardens, and then I went on Twins. Those were the two shallow dives. And then the first deep dive was, uh, what was it? Uh, Southwest Pinnacle. And then the second one was the H... Uh, oh, fuck, I, I forgot, it, forgot what it was. HTMS Satakut. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, but it was a US Navy vessel. It was a 48 meter vessel that was used in World War II, most famously in the Battle of Iwo Jima. And it was a really cool wreck dive, man. I really love diving on wrecks. That was my second wreck dive that I've done. So in case you haven't seen my SS Yongala uh, shipwreck dive that I did off the east coast of Australia uh, back in 2016. And that was actually my last dive. So it had been a couple years since I had done some diving, but um, a few years actually, two and a half years. So, uh, yeah, the HTMS Satakut, that was a really cool dive. So it's in about 30 meters of water. <clears throat> so it is a deep dive, but uh, it sits upright on the bottom of the, of the sea floor, and two of the guns are still intact. It was sunk purposefully by the Thai uh, military, and it's, uh, you know, you're swimming through kind of like this murky water, and you can't really see it, but then all of a sudden you just see this massive cannon sitting upright. There's two of them. I looked it up. One's a 76 millimeter, and the other is a 40 millimeter on the bow and the stern of the ship. So it's really cool uh, swimming around those, and all this artificial reef is growing on it. Uh, it's relatively new, I think, but there's still a lot of like big. There's some big cod that we saw, and uh, yeah, it's a really cool sight. A really cool dive. I really want to do some more scuba dives for this channel, and really hoping to do some more wreck dives maybe I can get my wreck dive certification at a later point but um, also want to get back and do some hikes I don't know if you guys have been watching my New Zealand hike uh, videos but looking at that footage again makes me really want to go back to New Zealand too I love it's like I love hiking and scuba diving and this channel isn't like it's not a hiking channel it's not a scuba diving channel but it's kind of left open to whatever I Whatever I want to put up there, you know, it's YouTube, man, whatever. <laughs> Alright, so either while I was scuba diving or while I was doing so much snorkeling on Koh Tao, I actually got a really bad case of swimmer's ear. And this is like day three of not being able to hear anything out of my right ear. But uh, I ended up going to the hospital in Thailand and when I was in Surat Thani. And that was definitely an experience. But, uh,. You know, I got some antibiotic like eardrops and I've been I've been putting those in and I feel like it's starting to come back. Today was the first day where I feel like it's gonna get better. But uh, and also flew today and I was fine on the airplane. So I would I actually purposefully missed my so I was already supposed to be in Vietnam like five days ago, but uh, I purpose purposefully missed it because I was worried that my eardrum wasn't going to be able to clear like you know when you're going up in a plane it's not good to fly if you have an ear infection and uh, I was really worried about it so I was like I'm not gonna fly I can't I can't hear anything I need to go to the doctor so I made the decision to do that and just nix nix the flight to Hanoi and uh, so now I'm getting delayed by the airline now so now I'm in Bangkok it's like it's like the universe is not wanting me to go to Vietnam but I'm going in the morning. That's that's what's gonna happen. And I got about a little over two weeks there. 
just not nearly enough time to see Vietnam, but um, I'm planning to just explore the north, then I'll head down to Australia, and then I'll be back to the United States. So yeah, back home before the end of the month, that, that will be good. So definitely it's been like, I feel like this has been the longest gap since I've done one of these. I feel like I'm maybe about two weeks behind on doing this. I meant to try to do one of these every week and I've for the most part kept up with that, but I'm gonna really try to uh, finish strong on this vlog. But anyways, yeah, thanks so much for watching and we'll catch you guys in the next one.